for my milk for my shake. Very good. Of course, you need to measure your milk. Mm -hmm. That's correct. The next word that I need to teach you is the next. Vianney, help me with this word. Pronunciation. Steer? Steer? Uh -huh. Look at this symbol. Let me open the soundboard. Stir. Aha, yes, very good lady. Stir. 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 That's correct. You have it like this. Err. Right? Err. What is stir? To move a liquid or substance around using a spoon or something similar in order to mix it completely. Ah, completely. <laughs> complete, ah, complete. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. How do you pronounce only this? Com um, com complete. Complete, correct. Complete. So complete. If you add Lee, we have completely. Completely. Yes, which is similar to totally. Okay. To move a liquid or sub substance around using a spoon or something similar in order to mix it completely. What is to stir? You have your milk, you add your choco milk, and then you stir it. Okay. You see? It's very different to mix. mix. Or, or shake is similar? It's kind of similar. The difference with shake is okay. like this. And okay. this is to stir. Okay. With a spoon or with a steering stick. Steering stick. Mm -hmm. Right? You take a steering stick and you stir drink. Yes. Okay. You see? This is necessary for this video. So let's keep on going with you, Bien. Attention. I used to help my mother in the kitchen. She would let me open packages and measure and stir things. And is is steer is steering? Mm. A steering ing so similar. Uh, it's... But it's not a ing. And it's correct. Okay. Okay. Let's repeat. Really? When I was a little kid. I used to help my mother in the kitchen. She would let me open packages and measure and stir things. Is tearing? Is tearing doesn't exist. Jack, you have two, two words, eh? Separate those. Syllables. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay, one more time. I have actually. When I was a little kid, I used to help my mother in the kitchen. She would let me open packages and measure and stir things. Is tear?
only yes. only one i i um i listen uh, only one word <laughs> yeah there's there is one extra but it's a little difficult so let's see if you can find it and uh, mm -hmm. let's go to the next person Cesar, can you tell us the mysterious word Mm. No. Let me open patches and measure and steer. Wait, pronunciation. Can you read again? Uh, let me open patches. Patches. Uh huh. And measure and steer. Okay, much better. Much much better. Ingredients. Ingredients. Okay. Ingredients. No. Three syllables. Yes. No. How many syllables do you listen in the video? Only one. Only one. Hmm. I don't know, teacher. Listen again. A little kid, I used to help my mother in the kitchen. She would let me open packages and measure and stir things. Um, stir things, think. Very good, brother. Things or thing? Think. Incomplete, impossible. Because we are talking about packages and you stir. Well, uh, you see this thing, what thing? If it's only one thing, you need to say, I think. Yes. So? Things with or, S? Of course. It's very, very small, the letter S. But the only way is things. Imagine, she was... A kid. So imagine Yoko as a baby opening packages, measuring things, and steering things. That's the only option. Yes. Mm -hmm. What about the rest? Vianney Val, yes, do you understand this? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Awesome. Then let's yes. go to the next. Go. Caesar, you have two more chances. I always had a lot of fun. Me, teacher? Yes. You. Okay, I, I, I don't listen this. Again, can you repeat that? I, I didn't listen this. Much better. I used to help my mother in the kitchen. She would let me open packages and measure and stir things. I always had a lot of fun. Do you have it, teacher? Are you there? Oh, yes, yeah, sorry, I am mute. Uh, I was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's it. It's impossible to say I was a lot of fun. Yes. You cannot be a lot of fun. You know? Yes. Listen again. When I was a little kid, I used to help my mother in the kitchen. She would let me open packages and measure and stir things. I always had a lot of fun. I has. 
No. I has incorrect conjugation. Yes. She has, he has, it has, but I have. Have. And are we talking in present or in past? Uh, she talking in past. She's talking in past. So you cannot say have and you cannot say has for this reason. Yes. Any other option? Mm. Okay. I... Hmm. No, teacher. I don't need yeah. No problem. I don't. I, can you repeat that? I don't have an idea. Idea is a A E O U. What is necessary? An, an, yeah. an idea. Can you repeat? I I don't have an idea. Transition idea. Idea. Yes, again. Um, I don't have an idea. Excellent. Yes, you're speaking correctly. Then help us, Karen. Listen again. You help my mother in the kitchen. She would let me open packages and measure and stir things. I always had a lot of fun. I had nice, nice. Uh, I had a lot of fun. I all in the future. Oh no, but exactly because we are talking about her history, so we cannot say I all. Mm. I was. I was had. <laughs> You cannot say I was have, was is a verb, have is a verb. There is a contradiction. Mm, could you repeat, please? Okay, one more time. She would let me things. I always had a lot of fun. I don't know. I listen was, but. I mean, the phonetic is correct. The the what is in the video, but it's a two syllable word, b syllable. B syllable. Mm -hmm. mm. I don't know. Then let's pass to <laughs> Val. Do you have the word Val? The mysterious word? No. You don't have the word? <laughs> oh. I listen was, but I, I know yes. that it's not. The phonetic uh, is very similar, but of course it's impossible. Uh no, I don't have. <laughs> then let's pass to Jesse. Do you have the word? Could I listen in again, please? Okay. Measure and stir things. I always had a lot of fun. I... No, sorry. Then let's pass to Vianney. Do you have the word? Maybe could. I could have impossible because had is in past. And by by grammatical rule, modal needs a simple form verb. Never verbs in past. I'm and now the problem oh. is bigger. Yes. The verb to be cannot go with a verb together and the phonetic is very far away the phonetic is very different listen again okay. measure and stir things 
I always had a lot of fun. No teacher. Oh, Jesus, my turn. Color red. The word is always. Listen again. Eh? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> nah. Listen again. Attention, eh? slowly. I always had a lot of fun. I had a lot of. Listen to this. Check this out. Fun. Measure and stir things. I always had a lot of fun. Always. The, the reason here is that the letter A gets together with the letter I. This, there is a, a combination. Ow. Ow. Then the L sounds like a, like a, like an extension to the, to the O. La letra L tiene un movimiento en la lengua que es diferente al español. En el español, la, la, le, li, lo, 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 si suena la L. Para pronunciarla en inglés se tiene que torcer un poco más y hay veces que ni siquiera toca ninguna de las, de las, de los extremos de, de la boca, ni la, de la, el área palatal, ni la parte de abajo. Se queda en medio. O, oh. o. Oh. Entonces, cuando pronuncia, cuando pronuncia la palabra always, realmente no hay una L, la dejan, dejan la L en medio de la boca y no suena la L, always, always. Ahora, júntalo con el I y suena always, always. Everybody, I always had a lot of fun. Always, always. always. had a lot of fun. Had a lot of fun. I always had a lot of fun. Always. Yes. A lot of fun. And then you have. Oh. I always had a lot of fun. Everybody, come on. I oh. always oh. had a lot, a lot of, of fun. fun. Okay, ahora pronuncian la I como lo pronuncio yo. Yo con solo el nombre pronuncio A. I always had a lot of fun. I always had a lot of fun. Correct. Now listen. And measure and stir things. I always had a lot of fun. Ta -da. Do you detect the always now? More or less, teacher. More or less? Yes. It's practice. It's practice. Just for the last. Yes. Exactly. Uh -huh. After <laughs> you pronounce it, it's easy to detect. So you need to pronounce correctly to understand correctly. Okay. That's the importance. One more. Let's go with Caesar. Uh huh. When I got older, we used to have big family meals. Uh, when I was... No. When I will older? I don't... Listen. Are you speaking in future or are we speaking in past? Okay. Mm. If if she says older, it's in future. Possibly. It depends on the context. Oh, okay. So you you detected all older. Yes. Okay, all that is perfect. Listen again. And measure and stir things. I always had a lot of fun. Uh huh. When I got older, we used to have big family meals.
When I was older. Close. No. Now you detect that she's talking in past, no? Yes. We are not talking about future. This is definitely past, but she didn't say it was. Do you have more information? So, so uh, when I space older, uh -huh. milk? Yeah. Milk, the drink? Yes. Sounds similar, but it's not milk. Space, uh, family, younger? No, family, I don't know. Mm. I don't remember. Ah, yes. Okay, have a look. Yeah, that's it. The word milk sounds very similar to the last word, but it's not milk. Okay. Okay, this is your third chance, so let's pass to the next. We go through Val. Well, When I got older, we used to have big family meals. We used to have a big family. Yes, 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 yes. All my aunts and uncles used to. Jesus Christ. We. Can you repeat? We. Used to have a big family. Eliminate A. We used to have big family. Okay. Sounds better. Okay. Second repetition. Mother in the kitchen. Packages and measure and stir things. I always had a lot of fun. Uh huh. When I got older, we used to have big family meals. When I got older, yes. we used to have a big family. Uh, it doesn't say yeah. Eliminate ah. Uh, we used to have big family. Yes. Um. And I don't know. Big family, what? Um, can you repeat, please? When I got older, we used to have big family meals. Meals? Can you repeat? Meals? Yeah, I <laughs> uh, Big family meals? which is a lot of people cooking and eating together. Okay, teacher. Good job. Perfect job. The next. Go. Oh, it's time for the questions. Yes, it's already time. So do you have any question? Do you understand this information? Yes. Well. Let's practice a little bit of our questions. Let's start with uh, Karen. Question number one. What okay. did Yoko used to do when she was a kid? He, he was opened package and sir I don't remember the new word mm -hmm. and sir things <laughs> mm -hmm. stir stir things stir things yes okay we have a problem she was opened yes it's just she opened I don't understand exactly <laughs> but also, we are talking about routines in past, and she, when you are talking about used to do, okay. it's actually not the answer. 
Um, she Re will. No, listen to this again. Sorry. My cousins would all older. Is, uh, yeah, I have actually. When I was a little kid, I used to help my mother in the kitchen. When she was a little kid, mm -hmm. she helped her mother at the kitchen. Exactly. We have a problem again. Helped. Helped. It's about finished actions, and we are not talking about finished actions. We're talking about past routines, memories. Okay. What is the, the auxiliary for memories? Memories. She cool. And what is similar to wood? Cool. Well, uh, cool is not similar to wood. <laughs> For mm. memories, we never use good. I don't remember. It's she... in front of you. It's right in front of you. She might. Might no. is not in front of you. <laughs> Check this out. Yes. When we are talking about memories, Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Aha, uh -huh. here it is. Similar to wood? Used to. Used to. And this used to is right here. See? It used to. Exactly. Ah, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Second problem. Yes. Kitchen is not a location. Oh, again, in the kitchen. Exactly. Correction. She used to help her mother in the kitchen. That is much better. Very good. So the first okay. option, remember that the the listening question always matches the audio. So you need to detect the words used to do when she was little. The expression that is helping you is the expression when she was a kid. Because the part when you say measure and steer things okay. and open packages, that's okay. not the, the, the question that correspond to I was a little kid. This is your key. Okay. So the question will match the information in the audio. This is a tip in the in the listening. Great teacher. Thanks. Got it? Yes. Okay. Next question. What about Val? How? Did Yoko? Help in the kitchen. Uh, she help. Um, to open packages. Uh, measure and steer things. That's a different question. As you can see, very good, Vale. Eh? Very, very nice. The word, how did Yoko help in the kitchen is a continuation in the original item. It says, I used to help my mother in the kitchen. This is a, the introduction. She would let me open packages. In an exam, usually you have the question. Option one, open packages. Option two, uh, cooking. Option three, um, helping in general. I don't know. This is the correct observation. Very good. The next. Bien. Um, mm 
Nick Joko had small family reunions. No. Excellent. Eh, Yoko haven't. Or no, Yoko have big family. Finish? Uh, big family. And and have big reunions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you are very close, very, very close. So you understand, but let's keep information and copy paste information. What word is a synonym for big family reunions? in this information. Mm. We used to have big family meals. Meals, the word meal is similar to reunion. So you should use copy paste. Oops. A second. Yeah. And observation yes. number two, are we talking in present or in past? In past, the question is in past. Precisely. So the answer should be past too. Okay. You go right. hat. Mm -hmm. Big family and hat big. Mm. That would be redundant. Put put everything okay. together. Okay. Uh, Meals? <laughs> yes. Exactly, because I am not asking about the family. I am asking about the reunions. Okay. Okay. So this this information is not necessary. Okay. My people, this is your listening practice. We finish for today. Good job. Have a wonderful weekend. I will see you on Monday. Study and I'll pass you. Ah, the video is in the in the WhatsApp now. Eh? You can study it now. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Have a wonderful night. See you. Okay, see you. Thank you, teacher. Good night, teacher. See you see tomorrow. You. Bye -bye. Friday. Bye. Bye. Bye.